Nice. How have you been, boss? Pretty good. When I saw you come in, I thought he's a tall gentleman. So, it's been two weeks since I saw you, but you seem to be walking pretty well. Yeah. Any any news in the past two weeks? I haven't heard much from you. Not really. Uh, so far, so good. Nice. So, beautiful. You've been doing physical therapy? Yeah. It shows that you don't seem to be walking on your toes, you seem to be walking pretty well. Yeah. We'll take the opportunity to mark mark the uh, the lines. Perfect. Any new numbness or weakness in your uh, in your feet now? I mean we're going quite slow so you're still eating well? Yep. Excelente. In that case, let's have a look. So you can see that you really have to lay down. So you basically have to bring your hamstrings into into position, but it goes straight. Yeah. Because I'm sure that when you're lying down, it goes fully straight. No, uh, there's no big concern there. Show me how much you can bend. Like this? So, with the hip inflection, you go to about 120 degrees on both sides. But I'm sure when you're lying, do you spend a little bit of belly time, front time? Yeah, perfect. Um, okay, give me your, any of your legs again. Pull hard, hard towards you. Push down. Very good. Inwards, outwards. Can you feel the touch? Can you feel the touch? Can you feel the touch? No. Perfect. How about here? No. Excellent. Pull hard towards you, as hard as you can. Just a big toe. Push down. Outwards. Uh, just with the foot. Inwards. Very good. Perfect. You eat, you're eating well? Yes. Super important. Excellent. So in that case, I'll see you in a minute. And this is your left side. This is your right side. On the left side, you can see that there's beautiful bone medially. Yeah. But laterally, it's a little atrophic. Right. And I think there's bone all the way here. You can actually see it. Yeah. But this is way better than there. So I would not necessarily stop or I would not accelerate at this point. The mark is exactly where it needs to be. This is the most clearest I've seen. Yeah, the, be the best regenerate, yeah. right? I agree with you. So same thing here, here. Uh, medially it's beautiful laterally I think there's way more than on the on the left you can actually see it goes all the way to here here uh, but I would once again I would not accelerate I would just continue with uh, good nutrition I would not resume the anti-inflammatories at this point um, if it's just so we'll continue looking at the uh, the side view same thing on the no. I think there's good bone here. That looks okay. So you can see it all the way back here. Mm -hmm. But once again, let's just go slowly. Let's just go slowly. So very good bone formation medially, laterally, it's there, but once again, it's not super clear, it's patchy. Um, so let's continue with the same, the same method. But here it's beautiful, medially, 
and that's why I don't want to slow down too much because there is a risk that this heals too fast. Let's see. When all is said and done, the only part that's missing is lateral. That's an easy fix, right? As long as you have structure over three sides, we exchange the rod and we can do a bone graft, um, and that will be that can be covered by insurance. But um, as long as all the other sides are looking good, same thing for that. Do you have any question about about today? Um, no. So as you said, the regenerates are most likely the best we've, we've seen them so far. Right. Um, let's go slow. So uh, we don't necessarily have to go back and forth accordion, but I want you to at least go at a rate of 0.5 per day and not faster than that. Um, be, so because of the discrepancy between the medial regenerate and the lateral one, I do not want to slow down more than that because the medial could consolidate. And that's kind of our limiting factor for now. Now, I'm not, once again, I know there, there are concerns about your regenerate, but I'm not overly concerned because on each side, you have the, the front and the back and the medial portion that are looking good. And it's really just a lateral cortices. So we'll just give it some time. We'll go slow, eat well, um, do what you're doing, do some weight bearing, but not being overly uh, zealous. And uh, we'll see in two weeks. In two weeks, basically, it should be a little bit beyond six. Okay. See you in two weeks. If there's right. any issue, please reach out. And that's it. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. So the appointment with Dr. Asia went really well. Um, the callus that I saw, uh, it was the best yet. Uh, so I know that we're making a recovery or progress there. The only bad part was, or concerning thing was, uh, the one side of uh, one of my legs, the, the gap that's the callus that's forming, it's not thick enough, which means if it doesn't improve, we may have to get, do a bone grafting on that one side to make sure that the callus is a little bit wider. And although that's concerning, I'm hoping that we are able to fix it. Uh, without the needing to surgery. Uh, Dr. Asiak did said that it is normally covered by insurance, so hopefully it is. So we will see how that uh, progresses. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, we're going to continue to lengthen uh, 0.5 millimeter a day. So uh, two times a day, 0.25. So uh, yeah, so we're at this stage. Um, that kind of goes back to my uh, roller coaster point. You know, you, you cross one hurdle and then you're looking into the second challenge. You know, um, so uh, I think uh, the, my morale and everything else is still good. I will still continue to keep at it and uh, hopefully we will conquer that without surgery. But at the end of the day, if surgery is required, I mean, oh well, I mean, what can we do? You know, so. All right, I'll keep you guys posted. Talk to you later. Bye.